Well, hello, 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 and welcome. This is Julia with Jewel Design, and today we are doing a little uh, challenge, I guess, or theme, but we're going to jump on the Stack Your Stash bandwagon today. Um, the Stack Your Stash hashtag that you see, uh, Lorette Chandler, Vintage Paper Girl, started it at the beginning of the year, and uh, it was cute. She was doing... She was doing it. She was doing an envelope pocket notebook thing, um, or booklet thing, uh, on Wednesday, and I was starting to work on this around the same time. And I went to watch her video, and I went, oh, "We're both working with envelopes this week," and, and we didn't even talk to each other. So I thought that was cute. But um, anyway, so today I'm gonna work on one of my favorite things. The idea did originally originate from what I'm doing today. Um, originated from Amy over at Crafty Cat USA. Um, you know, I started watching her, of course, right as COVID hit, and I started my own business here doing digitals, um, she started working on, you know, windowed envelopes and folding them up and making pockets and, and tucks and stuff with them. And I sort of taken it on and made it one of my favorite things to do um, in my journals. When I do a full journal, I try to remember to do one of these. So I thought today we would sort of start the bases, the base elements, um, in the sense of stack your stashes, you know, creating those bases so that you have them aside. So when you do a journal, you can grab some base ephemera and decorate them up and add them, you know, just add them in or completely finish them and put them in as your finished ephemera. And you can grab them if they're neutral enough to go in any journal. Now, I have one for sure today that is in purples because I want it for my idea book. I'm supposed to be working on that purple idea book, that tabbed idea book. And I went to go look through my paperwork to do this project today and realized that I don't have a lot of scraps. I had the cover all done, right? I have this gorgeous cover that I made with um, a gift bag and tissue paper, right? Mosh posh it on. It already has glitter on it, which is great. I put some stuff on the back because it was bugging me. There was a mishap on the back. Um, and then I cut a bunch of fabric tabs. Um, that, so we're gonna make it a tab journal. I mean, every time I do something like this, I can put it on a piece of paper and I can tab it in as an idea book so I can open this up. Um, hold on, cake ears. And um, as you can see, the word inspired is in there. And I can have a cute just favorites when I wanna do this. Um, whenever I have the opportunity or the supplies, I can, hold on baby, um, hold on guys, I can, I can go ahead and, you know, look through it for, to remind me of some of my favorite projects, as I have purple stuff. So, I do have a full purple kit, I, you know, things like that, but I realized it was a full kit. And I was like, oh, I don't have as much scraps as I thought for purple. Um, I have a floral purple kit that I think I did as five by sevens. And so I've cut them all out, or I made them five by sevens. I had probably had an idea for this, who knows when. But I have, you know, all the lovelies that go with it. So some of these will go in the journal, and some of them might go as my favorite ideas in the book. And I'll just make a page up and, you know, knock it out. But I do have, I have some scraps, but not enough. So anyway, the whole point is, I'm using up scraps. I'm using up junk uh, mail or bill, you know, bills, junk mail, whatever, come with these windowed envelopes to get it to you. I love using them. I think they're fun little ways to hide stuff. And then when you put a journal card or a tag in there, you get to see the pretty of that tag. So we're going to do the basics today on a purple one for my idea book and two other basics that are just using up scraps. I have this whole thing um, that has a lot of strips in it. <laughs> Come to find out, a lot of strips and some, some pieces, right? And so I pulled a bunch of paper, paper pieces, not so much the cardstock stuff or the thick stuff. I definitely love using the thinner stuff when I do this because we already have a base, so we're just adding some some decor to it. We're not really trying to make it any stouter, stouter. That's a weird word, stouter. Any, any stronger than it is because it really already has that that gump, umph, whatever. Gosh, I'm gonna be short of words today. That's gonna be fun. Um, it already has some some stability to it. There we go. So there's a couple different ways to do this, but I like to bring it up to where I'm sort of hiding. Some of the window, I'm not going to show everything. In this case, I came up just short of the, the, the taller window. We still have this one because I like to make a nice pocket here. Okay, I want to be able to make a pocket here. I fold this in one of two ways so that I have a pocket here. Okay, here and here. And then you can cut this down either direction, depending. If your opening's on this side, I normally have my other opening on this side, I think. Good, no, I have to think about that. I don't know if I want both openings. Yeah, no. So we'll have this opening this way, but we're going to, I'm going to, glue this we're going to glue it down but we're also going to open it back here um to make a pocket this way so and of course when you do this if you're new to journaling when anytime you make any kind of ephemera if you're going to glue it to the page glue it side bottom side and now you have a top tuck so papers long long skinny 
uh, journal tags, anything else can go behind it and you don't lose, you can continue to tuck as many ways to Sunday as possible. So what I did on this one is I wanted this fun little tap here, tag, tab, tab, tuck, tuck here, pocket here. So I cut the back flap to this point. We are gonna glue this down so that I have a full backing here, cause right? And we're gonna, we're gonna open up on this side. So we're gonna do a couple different things. And of course my glues are in the, are in the house. All right, this time I'll pause it so that way I don't keep you guys here for a month of Sundays listening to nothing at all, one sec. I'm so glad, whoops, sorry, guys. So glad I paused it because yeah, the cats had to go out. One's running around trying to get outside. The other one needs water. So how are all of you? So I hope you're all doing really well. Hope this gives you a little inspiration. If you're new, um, you know, to junk, junk journaling or journal making, we try to use things that come every day that we hate to keep putting into the recycling. Um, if you've done this, if you've been doing this for a while and you've forgotten this little trick, hopefully it'll inspire you to use. I love using envelopes for all kinds of things. I just forget. I stack, I stockpile them though. I've ready to go do something with them is the problem. I have a couple different co collections of these. Now these were the last three, three or four that I'd been collecting when I actually would open up a piece of mail that I've got recently that is worth opening. And, um, I was like, Ooh, cause two of these are very wide and these, this is a double, this is a double window, which I think is always fun. A little more challenging to collage, but, um, I always have fun doing it. Now these are not of course brand new. So they are security based because they're sending you some kind of information. Um, so once I feel we've, we've collaged down below the line, I will then glue this one shut on both sides. Okay. So we can make our pocket. Plus it's a little easier to make my thumb notches the way I like to when it's not connected. Um, and for once, I think I'm going to actually put a thumb notch up here to remind me once we've covered it, that I do want to leave it open, even in my, even on my, even on my idea page, leave the notch to remind me so that if I come across something that just has nowhere else to go, I can tuck something in there. So the goal is hopefully to have a nice purple page of something to, to work with. Now, I don't really want to open this, but at the same time, I need to slit that open and I should have, Ooh, maybe I can do it underneath. I'm like, wait, maybe I can do it underneath. Where are my scissors? Oh my gosh. This is the problem with the, where the work box, where the workstation now expanded. I am, uh, Definitely leaving half my supplies over in my um, other side with the workstation. I guess I should do another update on that one of these days. Um, <clears throat> well, I think I'll probably do here in a week or so. There'll probably be another studio organization on the on this side, the crafty side of it all. And uh, I have this whole side table that's becoming slightly a mess. So I'm going to try to carefully... I don't know if I'm going to do this. I didn't want to like just cut it across. No, that's not going to work. It's just not going to fly. Eh. I mean, I could cut to a point. I'm going to go all the way down. I have to glue here. But it's all the same length. So we want to keep it the same width. Now, you can always shrink this down. If it's too wide at any point. I mean, I'm looking for my cutter. Um, at any point, you can try to say what cutter I want. Um, you can always make those smaller. Because remember, you're, you're collaging and covering as you see fit. Uh, some people, depending on the project, will completely cover. The, if the only uh, envelopes they have is this. They will completely cover the windows if that's not their thing. If that, that's not their kit and caboodle, go for it. You can cover up as many windows as you want. All the windows, no windows, whatever you want to do. Did I just cut the wrong side? No, I cut the right side. Whew. I was talking, got excited, right? Some of these I'm, I'm doing it where the tab is good and I can tuck under and I don't have to do what I'm doing here on this side. I'm, you know, forcing, I'm closing this side on purpose. Because I like the fact that it's on this side. And it just depends which way you fold it. So that's open. So now we will close up this one. But it's for once I'm trying to be a good girl. And um, make some bases. Because I know I'm going to get to some journals. I know I have a lot of journals I want to do. And they're pretty like set in their ways. Which is good and bad, right? It's, it's nice when you have a kit and you just want to make, you really want the whole kit to have that theme. And you, you know, I'm trying to get better at using other pieces that go or coincide or make pieces that feel like they fit the theme. But, um, so I'm just gonna try to go really thin lines. I don't want to make it take up too much space. I really want to be able to get a nice cute skinny little card in here. 
I love when we have small cards or if we can make a small card. Um, I've done different things, but I mean, this is too long, but you know, corrugated piece and I could like put it in there so you can pull it out. <clears throat> it's nice when you can do something where you can have a little bit of tab sticking out so it makes it really cute and easy to pull out. I think I took like something like this, something small one time and decorated it up because it is actually a great size. I could even leave that on there and it's easy to pull it out, right? So that might be fun. And it's even green on that side too. Actually, I can't see more of it. Ugh, maybe I can keep certain cut corners and edges of it in the green because it looks really good with this paper. So anyway, I will keep that out to remind me to tuck that in there and it'll be part of my uh, ordeal later. Okay. So this is the basics. You sort of seal what you need to seal. You open up what you need to open up because now I have the ability to, one, it's also open to make it real, except for right here, to cover that because it is a security base. I've got this. Now I'm going to do a black and white. I am going to do a black and white journal, but this may be too tall or whatnot. It may not fit, so I'm not going to try to keep it. But sometimes your inside uh, gap is totally helpful, right? It's totally useful and you can keep it. You can totally make it worthwhile. Now, if I was smart, I think I was going to, and I got sidetracked, was to stick this in. Uh, I don't want to make that too thin. I think I'm wondering if I can save it. Just enough. I don't really want to have to cut this more than necessary, but I do want to cover up the inside. I don't want to see that. I don't, I know that something's going to go in here at some point, but that doesn't mean I want that to be, what is, oh, it caught in the corner. <gasps> I'm like, it caught down here too. Mm, that's the thing. Well, see, oh, I wonder why it did that. Because I didn't glue it down. Oh, I did glue it down there at one point. <gasps> oh, that's our pocket there. Duh. It's supposed to be. Well, to a point, it's supposed to be there. But, hmm. Maybe I'm going to have to cut it. Yeah, it, I ended up sealing this down because it is the pocket of what I need. But what I don't need later is for it to show here. No, I could glue it back down. It is somewhat colorful. But I, guess I, but I can also just trim it off. I think we're just going to trim it off a little bit. I try not to cut too many pieces so that we don't, we have a nice, um, solid, tight fit. There we go. Well, we'll make it work. When we put it in there, we will definitely make sure. I thought it was pretty, and I could just fold this up. It's not the end of the world. It'll help reinforce a little bit of that corner here. And we'll just trim right down here. So now, how do I want to put it in there? I think my glitter glue might be, not my glitter glue. I think it's going to give us the most play. Because um, one thing is we have the problem of, um, what's it called? I am okay. Um, that the, I'll make sure, that's the other thing I was going to look to make sure. Oh yeah, make sure in the right direction. We've done that before, right guys? Mm. You can lose a glue stick, but it may dry too quickly and it may not really stick. Glitter glue dries too fast and once you put it down, it doesn't want to come up. So fabric tack sometimes is the easiest way to maneuver what you need to do. You can always use glitter glue on the end somewhere when you're done where you're like, okay, I really need to get that sewn down. Because you don't want to keep getting it caught every time you put your... Um... Yeah, this is the only problem. Which is why some people won't um, worry about the windows and they will cover right across the front of the page because then no one can see. But if you're using it as a tuck, you are going to sort of see inside the envelope. I mean, you're still going to see inside it. There we go. Let's try that. Like I say, once I cut it, if it doesn't want to stay down very well on the edge here, on the back side, I can then put glitter glue on it. It's fine. All right, so it had to be due. Yep, you can't even tell right there. And this is on the back, so I'm really not going to do anything to the back of it, but I can reinforce and re-glue anything that I feel is not holding up well. Because I know that I'm going to want to make sure my flap here, that's down, but that it stays down. And I know that that is not staying down right now. That's that way for like We don't need the flap to come up because it is going to reinforce our other half of our pocket. So we want, to be able to, we want to move in and out of here and not get caught up, but not so much down here. So if I decide that's exactly where I'm going to keep it folded, I'm going to reinforce some corners here. We're going to do some silly, silly work to make it work. I know if it really started bugging me, I could put another piece of paper in here. 
So I have paper on top and paper inside, but I want to probably just ink this to make it a nice look. Do you want to ink your edges? It's always fun before and after things. I can do both purple and or antique. Now on this one, let's see. I was, I've been using everything lately. I'm using all my colors lately. It's working out of my porch prints like um, 3D uh, tri-level cottage piece. It's really cute for the holidays. Um, I took her purple house cottage set because I wanted one. Ah! Oh, shoot. That was a lot. That was... Um, shoot 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 this is mine so Ugh, this is my antique one ah got it mixed up i'm just trying to swipe off as much as i can so i don't mix that into the um surprises and anything else shoot all right oh that's right so i am going to hit this up with my lavender all the way around and if what i recover with it requires or calls for a little bit more of a brown tone the brown will be really pretty over it to antique it up but before I forget and get any farther and end up covering something I don't want to cover, or, you know, forget to, and I'm like, oh, now I don't have what I want, I'm going to ink this up. There's no, there's no rhyme and reason to this one. There's no exact change. You simply just pick the fold up where you want it. You pick the, um, you just sort of pick what you want where you want it. And then cover accordingly. It's a great way to use up scraps. Which is what is what I'm doing. Um, you got brand new papers, you could use them, but if you got mishaps or boo boos, they don't mind ripping and tearing up. Go ahead and use them. So now I'm just going to cut it. Probably use the paper cutter, but why would I want to do that? I don't go too far in. I'm just going to go along the line and just. Doop, there we go. Now I need. I was going to use a little bit of this for something else. But I'll keep it aside just in case. So it doesn't take too long. I'm trying not to do... What were you feeling there? Okay. So now, here we go. Like I said, now if I figured the... the what do you want to call it? Didn't hold in certain places. I could go back with the glitter glue. And all I'm doing is getting that piece of paper glued on to the back side. Be careful you don't accidentally seal yourself what you just cut open, right? And hope... But yeah, you're just reinforcing it where you need to. You're covering up what you don't want to see. And you're not throwing away more paper into the, you know, recycling bin. See the trash bin, but some do. It depends. It depends on your, on your brother for a while. Their company is that just throw it all into the bins and we'll, we'll, we'll separate it out for you. We'll decide what we can and can't recycle. I was like, all right. Our, t our city and town requires that we try to like separate it out. But there's limits to what they will recycle. And I'm like, really? So some things I'm like, hmm. We're, we, we're not soda people, but we do a lot of bubbly, like uh, sparkling water. So now we have cans that I never had before. So those I do. We collect those and later I can take them out to... I can take them out to our recycling facility and get money for them. I thought you could turn in wine bottles, but apparently... <laughs> I mean, you can in some states, I guess, or some cities, but we're not one of them. I was like, really? That's class. But I guess there's no, there's not enough. They can't retrieve enough money or something like that. It's like, well, you charge me five, ten cents, whatever it is to, to, um, you know, buy the darn thing. Come on. But no, we don't, I don't drink much of that anymore either. So I barely touch the wine now. So and I'm like, well, there's no point. No worry. But we have big old jugs of one gallon water jugs that I use for, the fish tank so I squish those up and take those out because they're just plastic those are actual plastic bottles so yeah so we keep certain things and then the rest of it we put in recycling and we have people who come through quite often that will they will take wine like they'll take milk jugs or they'll do certain things they can take I guess and they'll go to, out and make money that's sort of how they gain extra cash for the things they need and so I'm like all right and now that we are you know doing certain things they're asking us not to like put them in plastic bags to, if it's truly recyclable and it's clean and it's dry to just leave it directly in the blue bin and so I'm like well it makes it easier because they used to go through our trash cans and of course open up every bag and I'm just like no 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 I get that you guys are looking for stuff but if I had stuff I'd leave it for you or I'm already you know, already pulled it out so 
Yeah, so at least the trash is not being rummaged as badly because they can take a quick look and go, oh yeah, they have stuff I need or nope, they don't. I think some of these guys, they start figuring out what you do and don't drink a lot of or eat a lot of and they go, okay, well, that house doesn't have anything I can recycle with, you know? Or they can tell all of a sudden, oh, they must have had a party because why does that trash can look full? <laughs> I don't know. No clue. So I'm, I am putting some ink around the edges, not so much on the window if I can help it, though I can go in and, um, what's the word, wipe it off. I can find my wipes so that way I'm not like I am not what's the word um because it isn't oxide for the most part I can wipe it right off and this is still slightly slightly damp so I can sort of go in here and clean up the window so it's not so frosted but just in case I can't cover perfectly I do like having a little bit of the color on the edge there sometimes you got a great piece but it it's all edgy and it doesn't quite go over. Okay, so I don't want to spend too long. So now the ink inside is covered in a, in a purpley color, right? It's gonna be my collage of purple. We are definitely going to be using this guy right here to, right, cover our front here. I wanna get as much of the, sort of liked the whatever of this, and it's gonna cut right about here. So I'm gonna get most of this guy, and it lines up not too shabby right there. So I think I'm gonna glue it down, but I also wanted something else underneath it. And I was hoping that was gonna be big enough, and it's not. So what else do I have? I'm looking for something that I can get enough under, and get, like I did before, trim. So I may even extend this a little bit so we have another rough edge. It is a cardstock on this one, which I normally don't use, but I think in this case it's gonna be helpful. So let's glue that down what we think. We're gonna do a lot of gluing down and then trimming off, which if you don't perfectly glue everything else down, um, you can lift up and, you know, glue or, you know, cut where we need to do just like we did the inside where I can just trim it, trim and cut and trim and cut to fit because we are using unusual shapes and sizes. But I like just collaging onto these guys and just covering what we need and you reusing it. It's one of my favorite things to do. I said this was, um, inspired by Crafty Cat Miss Amy years ago. I can't believe it's been years. I absolutely cannot believe it's been years. I'm just shocked. I'm shocked that it's been, I started, well I didn't start, I think it'll be, yeah, it's three, no, let's see, it's 20, so yeah, it's been three, three, a little over three years since I started the YouTube thing, but we're coming up on four years since I started the digital side of it and selling the stuff in Etsy. I started right when COVID hit, not realizing it was going to be COVID. My husband was supposed to be going back to work after chemo and um, we thought, okay, we're getting back to normal. Things are going to feel normal again. And the Friday before, in our part of the neck of the woods, things went to hell in a handbasket. So, he tried to go in on, things seemed weird, and there was no school, and I was like, alright, I don't know what that's all about. And he went to work and on Monday, and they said, nope, go home. You are totally compromised anyway, and we're not taking chances. He had a really good boss. He's like, no, 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 we don't know what's going on, just, just work from home, or we're going to keep it quiet, we're going to keep it low. We'll, we'll see how this goes and uh, you know we'll bring you back in when we we know for sure it's safe right and they're like oh never mind so he stayed home for mm, two and a half months and then it was like okay well we're gonna have to take precautions but you know like the mice the, the cats the cat had been away and the mice were getting rowdier so his boss is like, I am so sorry. I need you to get back in because there were so many messes and chaos. He was trying to clean up from home from being gone for, I don't know, a couple months due to everything else. And he's like, I got to clean these messes up. I can't keep doing it from home. And I'm like, oh, oh, it almost doesn't cover. Oh, shoot. Okay. So my only down slot is right there. There's a little glitch. Oh, it doesn't quite cover. I don't get too heavy with this. I'm going to have to see if I can work in like, okay, I don't want to open anything by accident. Um, I didn't quite get enough over. But I really don't want, I think we're going to try to position that then because I'm like, I do not want to put more of the same in there. So anyway, but anyway, I, so I started, so I was like, well, he, I thought he was going to work. So I was like, well, the girls are home, but I'll go to work. I'm, I'm going to start start this business up and I'm gonna start designing things I'm gonna start figuring it out and so but it was great because by end of May first of June I my sister-in-law bought 
we're gonna go up guys I'm just gonna go up and I'm just gonna trim it off um, my sister-in-law bought one of my first kits it's super sweet and then um, Gail heard about me through my mom so she took a peek and then she bought stuff and then she showed it on her shop on her store on her YouTube and away it went oh my gosh right so what you know went went gangster I think I did the 4th of July sale and everything went berserk and you know it was great because she helped launch me there and um couldn't go, you know can't go wrong and I have to say I so I normally say my anniversary date is, is July because she did you know my first big sales were that July first week July 4th weekend from the first on so I was I was doing anniversary sale in July, do July, Christmas in July, and all that jazz. But, okay, so that held. Let's cut this off so we have it right where I need it to be. And if I go under a little bit at an angle, it's okay because I can just glue it down and then, um, because one, I don't want to open up anything else by accident. And two, if it happens to be a little inside the flap it's okay because you know we ink it we do other things to blend it in mm. it doesn't have to be perfect it is grungy the joy of junk journaling is that it doesn't have to be a precise anything and I'm actually gonna leave that little notch right here um, we, you know do the opposite normally I and now I may put after all of that right I'm gonna put a hole punch here now, after all that mishap, I'm like, oh, wait. I think I'm going to distress it a little bit in the darker colors, too, because we need to sort of hide and make this work for us. This is a pretty plaid, though. I'm all, it is a pretty plaid, and I may use it later for a... Now, if I really wanted this to pop, I could put this plaid and tuck it in. No one says I couldn't tuck that in and um, make it go for us. I'm going to ink it all, even though I'm going to cut something out of it. That's a thought. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to use a stripped um, mishap page to do our stuff up here. And then we'll have to see sorry, if I want that contrast for that little edge right there. Because I might want the this, whatever happens when I'm done you know, decorating this in here. I may want that green to stick out. And I don't really need that. But this may be great to cover bits and pieces of this. So maybe what I'll do is hate covering. I hate oop, hate to use though that when I have pretty on the other side, but it is scrap, so maybe I can use it. So really pretty flower. I hate to use, but maybe I can cut like bits and pieces of the two and collage them on that. So we'll keep it together. You never know. I need clips everywhere. So anyway, that'll be a project for later, but I will put it all together so when I go to work on it, I have ideas. Ha ha, maybe. Okay, so this little piece didn't work as I expected, but I might be able to collage it somewhere else. <sighs> so anyway, how are we all doing? It's the end of the week. We got uh, cavities filled. We got haircuts, so we're all cut up. And yay, I haven't had my hair this short in a while. It's collarbone-ish, but we took, a, took clean up a lot of the layers. And I can actually leave my hair down again. I can actually leave this top layer all floofy and pretty. And I'll have to take pictures, I guess, and update my profile picture. Because I'm like, eh, I don't like my last one very much. Not so much. I'm like, ugh. I think it's on my Facebook or Instagram. It's like, yeah, it's all right. Not my favorite thing. But usually I use my logo for a lot of things. So I don't think anything of it. But okay. So where are my cutters? Oh, do I have them here? Yes, I do. Ugh, my circles. I love my one and a half inch. It is my everything. I make my coins out of it. I do... Now, I could put it over here, but I really don't want it to interfere too much with the pocket um, because I do want to put something in there and not worry about it. Now, because this is not the pocket, it's just sort of helping us um, remind, remind us. Now, we normally use th thumb notch ho holes to help us get into stuff, to remind us that there's a pocket there, um, to help us grab whatever journal card or journaling item is in there. But, so, see, it's okay. And because this is smaller, I can just get, stay put, Missy. She's gonna sleep in her box all day, but now she's misbehaving. She took up my seat yesterday. I couldn't even film if I wanted to. 
wasn't in the mood. I wasn't in the mood. I was had no energy yesterday, so it would have been bad. But it would not have been a good video if I tried to do this yesterday. Um, but it was, I guess I wasn't meant to because she's like, nope. I was doing a few things out here and she totally came and bogarted my swiveled chair seat at my work sta at my station here and plopped herself down and I was like okay I guess I'm not working today and I was like all right so there we go we have this pretty thing here on the bottom right and we can st and I'll probably still decorate up here I'll still do something up here at some point when I go to do this but today we're just trying to get the layers the basic layers done Man, this pretty. This was a Bella or a Stamperia? No, Frankie, Frank something. Oh shoot, Frank something or other. I thought was it the Frank one? I think it's a Frank. He had the purple book lovers and an autumn kit that I love, and so I used the it's mostly autumn stuff, but some of the purple stuff that was more purple e, I put aside. So I love this one. This is actually from Tattered. Uh, who did this one? This was a Tattered papers and oh, I can't for the life of me remember who it came from right now she did them in like five different colors I did the whole I did that whole really cool brown bag um little mini lookbook journal out of it so anyway I had a scrap and that's the whole point I have scraps more scraps but this purple stuff whatever this came from goes back to my purple kit it does not go in my scrappy um it does not go into this and that's pretty too I think I lightened up some of those pages and made something out of it so now this started running out of ink, so we have purple stripes in it, right? Makes for good use. So I'm just going to rip and strip, because we've got to cover. Now, I don't want to cover up all of it, but I like the little bit of the ripped because it gives some, what's the word, um, edge. Makes it pretty. It's not perfect cover over the circle, but it hides some of the mishaps. So again, we're just going to go up, and then we'll probably just clean up all the way around it. So I think that's how, and I want something up here. I'm not, oh, I have, so if I wanted to put a box of something behind it, I'm looking, I'm looking for ripped edges for sure, whenever I can. So I could go underneath here and we can use that ripped. And sometimes you have straights and you have, and you have ripped edges and you know, you have it going both, this side, I would want to rip both ends, this side flat on one side. The more collage you can get, I think the better. Um, it makes for a more interesting, you know, ordeal. If I want to go this way and that way and, uh, I almost want to go, I, I don't want to think about this too much, but you sort of can't help yourself. Maybe we can go here, just for that corner. But then, see, so then I can layer over that, whether I can see it or not. And then I can get two more of these strips up the sides, up and over, up and under. I don't even need that ripped on either end. Really, I very, need very little of it, it, depending on how it covers. Hmm, maybe I don't need that at all. Well, like, maybe I don't need that. But you have to think about who overlays what. So if you don't do it, you end up with, um, you know, stuff you can't tuck under. So I do want it out as far as I can. Mm. Like how far can I get? And maybe just barely trim underneath it. Get it out a little ways. Get it. See what I can do. Get that one there. I don't want to go without anything there, but do that little piece. I can probably figure that out. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah. And I think at first I'm just going to do the edges here. So well, I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you are getting back into the swing of things of my videos and whoever else. Um, it's Friday, so I know some of you had that three-day weekend. Some of you... Well, every day is a day off, right? If you were retired, every day is a day off. No, I don't know if I go through that. I'm going to quickly, before this dries, do a little bit of a pinky purple edge. And I guess I'm simply just doing enough on the outside edge so that I know 
I have it glued down, but I can still get underneath here exactly where I need to. So I think I'm going with a smaller piece. I'm gonna go as far over as I can without showing up underneath so that I can get over here as far as I can. Okay, now normally I would do this with a lot of, um, what's the word? Um, glue stick, but I don't really wanna go back all day and have to keep fixing it because it's not stuck down. So I am not getting that. I think we're good here. I don't think we're gonna do anything else under this one. And I, but I don't want to glue it too much to the actual window. So I'll try to leave it up a little bit. I know we want to do this, but I also know that I'm going to want to maybe stick something underneath it, but not all the way up because I don't really want. Maybe we will cluster it that way. I just want to make sure we have enough space. But that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not the end of the world. The only difference on the other two um, is, let's see if I go here. I'm gonna want, both of those are gonna come up to it no matter what I do, not over and under. Unless I get something really thin here, I might go over, but we'll see. Let's just do this way. Um, the other two I'm using are bigger windows, so I have to get definitely you know a full piece or a, a fitted piece to, I'll try not to get my hair in the way there, guys, at least. I'm in the camera, it's newly cut and played with. Why is this cut and cleaned? Makes my own hair color look pretty too, it's not so... Um, I think I've got the rest of the, the last of the colored stuff off, which it wasn't much than, more than brown, it wasn't like I was heavily co colored in some weird direction, but... Well, it wasn't an odd direction that I was colored in. Alright, so let's cut all this off so I know exactly what I'm working with on the sense of the top. I don't have to worry about the side too much, because we know that's in place. Oh, it's thick right there. There we go. All right, so there we go. More scraps. So I guess if we have spots that we need to f fill some tiny little crevice, we can. And here, I have a little spot, so I might just do a little here, and I know we're gonna cover over on it somewhere, but maybe we just do a little bit up here so that where this window or this box doesn't quite cover up to my pocket down here um, we have some coverage just in case I don't need all of it I don't really need the bulk because the bulk ooh, ah, there we go um, just leaves more things to get hung up on when you know I'm taking a journal card or something in and out using my fingers when I shouldn't but you yeah, know all right, hopefully I'm not using it my whole time. I probably am, 37 minutes, yeah, probably. But it gives you a gist of it. It's a pretty one and it goes in my idea book. But like the other two are not as bad. It's mostly getting the pocket itself covered, right? And then it's coming up with four, three strips to go around. One a little wider. Now I could get two the exact same width and cover into the window. So it's a very specific, you know, perfect. And if what goes underneath doesn't fit, like this one, I'm coming up short. This one, if I only want to cover where my window is, I'm going to have to go definitely wider down the sides so that you can't see the black, right? Um, but it's not going to cover every bit. So I make sure I really put it, clean it up really good inside because every time I put something in here, it's going to catch on these edges. So my other thought was to do this, you know, nice and big and then maybe still put that one down the middle as a pretty, but I don't know. I haven't decided. But this one, I think I have some really pretty vellum pieces, um, more vintage-y feel. I think I'm going to go more all these yellows and browns. Um, we're going to use all this kind of stuff, I think, to cover the pockets and collaging it all together. So, ooh, I have a lot of those really, there's some really, no, there we go. Well, we'll put all that together. I'm like, hmm, I won't need all of it, of course. But I, it depends how much I need to collage. I have this cluster right here for sure. So, um, but again, cover the pocket. Now on this one, I folded, I folded it in, all of it down, and I because of the way it lays, I still will glue it down. I think pocket here. Oh yeah, so I was gonna open up this side 
No, I'm not opening this side. This one I'm doing straight down pocket and I'm using this as a tuck. I will probably have to reinforce it underneath with like the brown paper because it's thin. I was just going to make a cute tuck here, a light tuck here for a smaller piece of, of ephemera. Pocket here and then I could decide which side to do it. So I think on this one, oh, I thought I would remember. So I did it to both of them, but this one I already glued down. So this one I've already gl glued down back here as my remembering. So oh, yeah, I'm going to trim this one open again, just like we did before. I'm going to trim this open, and but we're going to tuck down, we're going to tuck in, we're going to tuck in this way. So instead of making a pocket, a little pocket, we're just going to make a tuck on the outside. So, okay, so that's what we're doing with both of those, I think. We're going to do the same thing on these guys. So what I know for sure is going to have this gorgeous, really light, creamy, you know, neutral feel. It'd be great for anybody. Botanical kits. Mm. Whenever I get that far, I don't think I'm going to get to it today, but you get the gist. Well, yeah, so my thing isn't quite as quick. And then this one, I was going to use a pinky color, and I have some pinky like floral pieces and lace pieces and I don't know what. So I didn't even know I didn't I have scraps and I will use them all and I'll have to show you guys later what that comes out to be, but I don't have. We'll see what one ends up with, how much I have left of one, I guess. Um I really like the idea of this neutral Frenchy feel on this one. Oh well, okay. But with those two being a single, yeah, I I that time glued the flaps ah on the outside. Right, I capped this flap on the outside. I'm going to glue this flap down, cut it open over here, and we're using the flap on the outside as a tuck spot instead of a opening to a, a small pocket. So you can have, like I said, you can have as little or as many as you need. Just it really depends on how well the envelope may have survived. Sometimes the envelopes come out great, and you're like, oh, it's perfect. Other times you're like, oh, that did not work at all. So I really do want more of the lace section right here. And of course, I need a rip on both sides. And I keep ripping it away where I get that white on that other page. Not on my favorite. Not my favorite. Did I get all the way up high enough? I did. Okay. So I'm just going to have to try to remove the white part. I mean, yes, I'll distress some of it, but some of it. <laughs> I don't want to have to distress all of that too much. There's only downsides. Depending which way you rip things, you either get the you get that white tip and or that white space. I try to get ink off the back. The ink is not going to get me anywhere. All right. So we're going to add more lavender. -y. This is a milled lavender, so it's sort of pinky lavender. But we have both we have we have all the different tones of, in this thing. It is definitely a cluster of purple, cluster of lavender. It is not one or the other. Okay. Depends which way I want to do this. This is sort of thick on this end, all the way down. So if I wanted to change the weight of this, I could go this way as long as I feel I'm getting enough coverage to do so, right? So since I went up to that, I have to decide, do I just go right up, just up to it? Don't quite go all the way down, right? It encroaches a little bit up here, but not so much that I feel like it's messing with it too much. It has sort of a rounded tip, rounded edge to it, so um, I think it makes for an interesting transition period. Uh. I hope you're all doing really well. We finally are getting the rain stopped quite abruptly. Um, and no signs of it till maybe Monday and like a bit like Sunday night, Monday, all Monday. And then we get a break and then nothing again to the weekend. Or I don't know. It's pretty. Now we're going to see uh, some, some serious dry time, which I'm like, oh, man, I got to turn the sprinklers back on. Hopefully my lawn, will, it wasn't as rainy as we expected. So hopefully I can mow it here in a couple days. That's the other thing. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I think I mowed it. In between, when did I do it last? I know before the rain was supposed to show up. I think Thursday before all the rain was supposed to show up a week ago. And not that much showed up. I mean, it rained, but it didn't. Not for our area. I know other areas got some serious. All right, so we got a gap here, but we have more up there. And then, what do we want to do? I don't know if I want to do another version. of. I can go stripes this way, but mm, I'm not like, I like the fact they're all along. And I definitely will do something on this one where I'm going to cluster something up here because that is not going to go so I can either put another I have hard flower boards I have all, you know I have a pretty I do have a really pretty book thing that I might want to put up there something to sort of soften that ordeal I have pumpkins and stuff but there's some pretty 
press a cardboard cut what is it chipboard thank you chipboard stickers that I think will work really well to me put some weight on that and decorate that up I need something here but I'm not liking anything I have let's see that's not tall enough is it or is it it is I could rip it but that doesn't make any sense I feel like I have to have more of the same is that a bummer or what let's see something here I might get a little very, very much specific here for a second and a little weird, but I am thinking to change it up just a little bit, I'm actually going to cut around the ruffle that it was um, imprinted on this paper. It was supposed to be a rough, scan ruffle on top of a uh, parchment paper, actually, that I had tea dyed. It's both scans. Let's see how much do I need. Not much. Let's see if I can stop about here. Treat it like I would lace. And we're gonna do something a little more specific. Specific. And do that. Now I'm wishing I thought to do that with all of it, right? And my phone just went off. Um, my mom must have called. I'm of course in the middle of something else, so. Um, I had I got sidetracked on photos and not photos on um what's the word um <sighs> tracking some packaging and stuff it's the thing with the business man you're constantly doing something aren't you I'm like oh my goodness I'm like no I'm going to craft I'm going to get a video done you don't want to lose what little analytics I have the only problem is it is very specific it's very uh, up there so let's see if before it dries I can round it up out a little bit because I'm like that is a very straight across whatever right now and I'm not in the mood for that I mean I know it's going to cut well, there's a little rounded I guess again I guess I could make it more specific I could find a way to put lace or something on that to real lace to make it more doable okay so I know the glare but how are we doing yeah all right so there we go we hit the bottom all the way to the top definitely cluster up here so let's cut off what we don't need and um, there's that. And we'll ink everything. And then we gotta cut this one off. I am using my smaller scissors because I really don't want to overcut something here. And do that. Okay. Now that's supposed to be open, so that's okay. All good. That's looking all right. But as I work on it, of course, I can always, you know, make it better. But I'm loving all the purple. Now that I cut that off, I can do this. And, um, hmm, what am I looking? Oh. oh. All right, let's see. Yeah, that would do it for now, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Now, you can go all the way to, like you said, putting a hole punch here, a hole punch up here, or a whole, thumb notch. You can decide how many you want to do. Um, and because there's some, there's plenty of room in here, because I want the pocket to be the whole width here for, to tuck into. So, and just like you want to glue all three sides to give you as much depth as you can if you, if you want it for everything else. Um, you know, I may decide that the tag or whatever I put in here um, is going to have a, a, I may decide, sometimes with these I'll make sure that there is a tab on the whatever, the journaling space, um, so that it can be pulled out, right? If I put a nice size journal card and it has a tab on it and, the t and it's wide enough to where the tab sticks out, and this is on the outside of the page, right? So the tab is on the uh, sticking outside the page, it's sticking outside the box, and the other thing, you put this on your left side page. So you got left and right page and you put it on your left this way. It's opening out this way so you can get everything in and out. Yes, this is little and it's up against the the this the the doohickey. Um the inside page, but yeah, that's why we put tabs and tabs and stickers and um strings and stuff on it so that you can see that. All right, but there you go. So I will put one up here though cuz I know for sure I want to remember that this is something that can be tucked in and maybe I want to put some piece of paper or something behind here. It reminds me to glue it down a certain way. There we go. And that you do not glue down because you don't want to interfere with whatever you put in here. At least I wouldn't. And um, I'm doing a little bit of distressed ink, the photo ink, the vintage ink, 
just to darken up the purple a little bit, like I did down here, but not thing too much. Plus, I just pull some of the great creams from here. All right, and there you go. All right, so now later, as I'm going to actually put it in my journal or whatever, and I have leftover bits and pieces, I can totally um, decorate it as I see fit for some of my favorite pieces that maybe I don't want to give up and I don't want to hand to someone else. Um, I could put this on here and then put it in my idea book and I'm good to go, right? So, but yeah, not a, not a quick mass make and all I did was pick pieces, right? But it does give you, like I said, we have a couple different pocket spots now. I'll use this as our go-to, right? So I have my cute, fun, skinny little space down here. Uh oh, I there we go. I have a tendency. Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely put stuff in there to remind myself to uh, make room. Like I knew. Ugh, there we go. All right, so we have our fun Heidi hole there. You have your pocket here for a medium journal card, medium to small. Any of my six up or eight up squares would fit in here, right? And then you have the whole space, all the way up and down, to put a large journal card, large journal card, or e almost a large medium to large. Um, tag, journal tag. It goes all the way up to there, right? You have a good size tag right there you can also work on. And then when you glue it down on these three sides, you then can put a piece of paper, a document that you fold in thirds, old piece of paper, even just like the, the eco dyed papers, you fold in thirds and you stick it right down the back and you know you can pull that out right on that page and put it back in and you don't lose that, that writing page that you just covered with this lovely junk mail uh, junk mail email, junk mail envelope pocket piece that you just created. You don't lose it. So there you go. Definitely wouldn't call this a mass make, but it's definitely a stacker stash. I wish I could do them quicker. Oh, I don't. I wish. How much time I have left? I'm in the 51 minute mark. I don't think I, well, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's me talking too much that causes me, but I just think of the details and picking it and do I want to? And should I do that? And <laughs> yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Here, let's do this. I'm going to move this up a little bit so I don't move them apart, but I am going to stick it right here. So this way I know that that all goes together and that I'm going to use all these little bits and pieces to help make that journal card. Decorate it up and make it pretty. I've got these little pieces to work that on on another day. Maybe I'll decorate that on camera. I don't know when, but you never know. I'm not like doing little little decorating pieces on um, Instagram and YouTube as shorts and reels because they're quick, it's easy, you get to see the process, but we're not being sidetracked with, you know, all these little things. So there you go. But see, you could tuck something here, you tuck something inside to see through the windows, the back, and our little things right here that we're going to make. So <gasps> loving it. All right, one down. Many more to go. The only thing you'll have to do is keep an eye on, depending on how much you shove in here, is whether or not you have how much you have to reinforce this top corner um, because we put stuff in and out a lot it sometimes both ways um, pulls a little bit doesn't pull as much from this side because this whole thing opens right but there's resistance here so a little extra glue the glitter glue is glitter glue is great for that so it's fabric tack it just takes a smidge longer to get it warm and doing its thing all right well let's see something here really quick let's see if we can have a little bit of fun with this one so we do have to open the one side let's see if we can get that if I can find the cutter get that one side open just the same way we did last time and because it does oh wrong one but that works too I don't know why oh I moved the other one to the other side because yeah I already glued this down so we are going to very carefully I'm probably off camera and that's okay we're just barely going to tip this I just want this tiny little bit open up. I think it's almost, there we go. It's almost embossing the thing more than it's um, cutting. The blade is not as good as I thought. And it definitely is, um, that I'm just not pressing hard enough, which is possible too. It's not slipping in. It's not, and it's, I mean, it's an old one. It's something that I'm sort of inherited from a friend who says, I never use it. I'm like, all right. Thought it'd be fun for these things. It's not very accurate for me. I can't do it that way. I'm very used to my old school whatever, so it's like, oh goodness. Okay. It didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Oh no, at least I have a, so I guess I have a guideline. Oh, my ears are ringing. Someone's thinking about me. 
All right. So now we have that open, just like before, but this time, like, we're going to shove something in here, so I'm going to wait so I don't unglue it. But we are going to find a way to sort of help this. Now, I'm going to cover the, I am going to cover the top, no question about it, but I want to make this flap a little thicker. I want to have a little bit more um, stability and a little bit more width or thickness to the flap. Um, and so we're just going to go on this edge here and we will put it on the outside. Don't get me wrong. I will do the outside too. Um, in this case, yeah, I will cover this outside and match this or another fun, you know, another fun piece. But I figured let's start off with something that isn't going to, you know, to help me reinforce a little bit before we get going. That way I'm just not so, so thin to be working with. Okay. This was definitely going to be inked in antique old vintage photo because we are doing all neutral colors on this end. So I definitely suggest inking around your pages and your edges when you're doing something that um, you don't know because you're collaging. If you're going to get all the way to the edge of something, this sort of helps give you a little bit of wiggle room. So if you don't go all the way to the edge, it has its own antique feel. It has its own vintage flare and it just gives you some room to forgive if you're not quite to the edge because then you just see what it looks like an overall feel of paper underneath it right even though we know it's brand new we're gonna fudge we're gonna fudge it a little bit we're gonna and like I said do the same thing on the edge here if you can without getting on the window too much can't really get in the same edge of the window but might be able to a little if you had a small makeup brush, which I do, I just don't feel like pulling it out right now. It might be able to get to that edge better, but I am don't want to be that precise right now. We don't have that much time. Now this one, yeah, I definitely, I fold it up to where we are not seeing the bottom of the window. I want a deeper pocket here. Um, still gives me a good size journal card in here. Um, it just doesn't give me, you know, but we are going to leave this open so that we can tuck in here, which is why we'll keep covering this, which I really liked not big enough. So I would like something big enough to get color and shape and whatever to cut it with. So if I leave this open, I should be able to just barely see what I'm doing here and trim around it. So the only thing about sealing this one first is that I didn't um, give myself a lot of wiggle room to trim that. I'm gonna have to be guessing when I'm cutting it. Yeah, I can do it. All right, let's do that. I like that multi yellowy color. I don't know what I'm putting on the inside, but I think there's some pretty um, vellum pieces that I have here that it might be fun to decorate this with. I might just do the fun front pocket here. Um, let's do that. I'm gonna use that edge on the bottom that is per already sort of pretty. Already, you know, distressed and ripped. It's deckled from a different project. And we're gonna press down enough to hope that all my edges are on. Eh, enough of them. Let's do this. We're gonna just, as much as I would love the ripped edge, which I do try to do sometimes, I will try to deckle, de deckle the edges of things and put it smack in the middle of whatever I'm working on. This is not one of those. This one is going to be a little more specific, a little more precise because it is a very specific edge. And it's okay if your paper goes above or beyond as long as it's not so much that it catches a lip, that the lip, you don't keep catching on the lip of it, right? So I can do some. There we go. And then we need to. Sorry, I just had that in front of my face. It wouldn't do you guys any good, did it? I hope you're all doing well. I hope the weather is per behaving itself. I know Cali weather. Yes, we are clearing up. We're gonna get another taste of another taste of um, I think Saturday tomorrow. We're gonna see Saturday or Sunday. We're supposed to see like I don't know, low 70s for a moment. I was like, ooh, it's gonna feel like spring for a second. <clears throat> I think Saturday. I suppose Saturday, oh, Saturday or Sunday. Saturday, Saturday. Um. Saturday is going to feel it's going to feel like summer or spring excuse me spring not summer 
Which is like, okay, and then it's, you know, by Sunday I'm supposed to rain and Monday they go back to school. Rainy. I'm like, alright, why not? So we could do a dark. I almost want to do. Well, it's folded, but I wonder if, mm, do I like both? Not really. I was like, oh, wouldn't that be pretty? But, mm, what if we did like Mm -hmm. I think this is what gets me into trouble. I, I wonder, what if, if we did this and we did that? <laughs> now I could do, let's go over, brown on the bottom, overlap that, and I saw yellow, but that's, mm, it's not really ripped, but I could do something like this, right, where we have ugh, layers. Mm vellum so I can either it doesn't go all the way over does it nope <sighs> book page in a completely different direction well, that's sort of a cool idea let's make sure I do this in a way where I can cover everything before I go tear anything Ugh. get underneath I want to see the vellum it was really cool I was able to print one of my last botanical kits on vellum and I was like ooh I want that over that and then I'd want that over that I like the idea of that but I do need to get most of it underneath there this is like when I do everything else you see me do this I do this and then I go oh I gotta take that apart now it's exactly where I want it this is where it gives me a little bit that's why we distress things so that I don't have to be perfect up against I can come up short tuck one underneath the other well, I like that. Okay. Let's ink. Because that's going to make us give, give us dimension. Give us an appeal of shadows and edges. Without having to um, actually do that. And I am because there's a little bit of white on this vellum, surprisingly, when it was torn. I didn't expect that. We are going to um, ink that a little bit. And I'm going to ink the bottom a little more because there's a little bit that won't be covered. It's almost like its own fourth layer on this. And I'm really not too stressed about this one. Now this edge I'm going to do a little bit because it's up against the white paper. But the other one's going to be covered with the vellum. So let's try this. Let's see what we can do. I'm liking. Gives a flow of how to, you know, the, the long strips directs us towards the tuck directional not that it matters but you know it doesn't it doesn't right I guess we'll just leave that there it didn't get tucked as much as I want but I said this is becoming its fourth its own fourth layer and I'm okay with that let's see if I can I'm using a something just to sort of rip that edge we can sort of keep that pretty idea. This one be a little rougher. This one will be a little bit more ripped and grungy because we are not going super pretty or pink or purple or whatever. You're definitely utilizing the... Cool, so you can sort of see that underneath. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Now, Velma's... Is... I'm going to do the glue here. I think I'm going to do glitter glue. I'm not glitter glue. Um, I Glitter glue and vellum have a tendency of having issues. So I'm going to stick to, you know, I'll get it where I need to, but I think I'm going to go just where I need, only where I need to um, with the tack, fabric tack. Because that seems to dry a little better with the vellum. Plus, once it's warm and sort of activated, it doesn't... And we're covering up the two seams, right? That's on top of brown, so you really can't tell if it doesn't work right away. And this is going to get covered up with the that, so... Well, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me in this my little Stack Your Stash, inspired by Lorette. Oh, actually, she started this year's Stack Your Stash hashtag, um, which you guys all seem to really be enjoying, if you watch both of us. And it was just cute because I didn't realize we both, she was pulling out her envelopes this week 
as much as we see each other, I didn't even realize this is what she was doing. I was like, oh! And now I had done the same thing. I had pulled out mine and said, well, I have three of the, three or four of these over here, and instead of letting them sit there and stack up, let's make some stuff. So as I get going, if I have to throw something together real quick, I have a little something to put on pages, right? And I'm using up my, my, mm, I'm going to have to do a stack your stash of, of like journal, like mass make. And maybe not stack your stash. It's going to have to be a, I need to terribly need to do a strip video, I guess, or something. Not that you really want to watch me do that, but I have a, a, bun a bunch of strips scale strips both paper and um both paper and cardstock that have been stockpiling and i'm like i need to do a, just a big old piece of paper magazine paper something and i just need to do weave a bunch of strips on two and let the colors shift and change from top to bottom side to side so that if i glue enough then i can start cutting like we do with master boards same thing as that we do for master boards. Master boards, we put a bunch of, we do a bunch of this type of thing. We we collage a bunch of pages, papers, strips, scraps, whatever, onto a, again piece. Of, we do book pages, whatever, book pages, magazine pages, ma magazine pages, um, old books that you would never you know use. You use them as bases, and you definitely um, what's the word? Just glue a bunch of stuff onto, and then you cut. You cut them into cards. You cut them into pages. You cut them into tags. And then all I have to do is decorate them later. So I love doing... See, I started this one. Um, it was leftover from one I used in the books, the book lover's journal. So I need to finish this one up and then cut it. Or work my way up or something. But I think it's only happened to here. I can only do strips up to here. But I think on a bigger piece of paper, we need to do strips both ways until I run out. Until I run out. And then um, be able to have that master board of weaved cards so when I need something all I do is cut out the strip the chunk I need and decorate it up and I'm done right so that might be fun I don't know I, my day when I have need to get you caught up guys on something or chit chat or something I don't know because that may not be as fun to watch that's gonna be a little boring okay so there we go we have our tuck right that's now been reinforced we have um our thing nice and and um covered up so we have that first layer all said and done. Oof. Our little eraser, our cute little eraser squares, which we do in the shop. I was able to restock them. I'm so stoked. Sometimes we find things and we buy them and then we go, God, I hope we can get more of those. <laughs> hope we can get more of them. So they're cute little two inch by two inch eraser glue, resi residual, residual erasers, glue eraser boards or glue and res residue erasers. All right, so yeah, once I get this part taken care of, then I would just glue these down, and I have, again, my opening here. Let me get my hole up here, which, yeah, because in this case, we're not do we're not tucking anything into here as a pocket this time. I have a tendency I like to offset my hole, the the get the, the grommets, the hole, the thumb notches. I like to put them off to one side. There we go. So that takes care of that problem. So I don't forget later, because I will do that. I'll get going, and I'll be like, ah! But, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're about it. I think of any longer. Oh, at minute eight. Oh, wow. I went up and over. So sorry, guys. Well, at least you got to see another layer, another job, another something. Love you all so very much. Thank you so much if you watched this all the way to the end. Hopefully you're jibber-jabbering to yourself and me as we went along along with the, for the ride. I really appreciate it. Love you all very much. And we will just talk to you t next week um, with something. Will there be a studio um, cleanup, which I might do with you guys? We have, um, I don't know what we have to do. I have, I have, a, I have a review to reveal, a studio cleanup, strips, you know, master board strip weave thingy. Um, and I keep saying another project, a new project. It could be the purple kit. It could be a black and white kit. It could be just about anything, but I have to have two seconds to do that. So... All right, thank you so much for jo joining, liking, loving, commenting, watching me attempt a stack your stash, which I don't work fast enough for, <laughs> hmm. and just joining along in everything we do. So thank you all very much. Love you all so much. Hope you'll check out the new store. The link's down below in the show me more and in the description. Talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.